This is your upper body sandbag warm up. I'm here with Coach Alex, who's gonna demo for us. This should take you roughly seven to 10 minutes. You don't wanna blaze through it. Take your time, make sure you're doing some quality movement. We'll start with one minute of general movement. You've got a couple options. You could do a burden carry if you wanna grab that bag there. Bring it to your back rack, grab whatever handles are more comfortable for you and allow you to keep your chest up and get some breath going. And you would just carry for about a minute or throw that bag on the ground there and go into some toe taps. Nice and easy, nice and easy. And then we'll set up for the sandbag shuffle. Of course, you could always just jog too if you wanted, but the sandbag shuffle, a little bit more choreography here, which will get your coordination warmed up and that sort of thing. So, looks awesome. After that, grab something like a door frame, a rig post, whatever you got. We're gonna do 10 leg swings, starting small and slowly getting bigger. And as you start to get bigger, what you're looking for is a stretch through the hamstring to the back of your leg as your leg comes forward. You wanna get a really big back swing as well so you feel that stretch along the hip flexor right in the front of your hip. So you do 10 on each side of the leg swings and then step away from there. We'll go 10 circles of the arms, forward and back. And same thing, starting kind of small, slowly getting bigger. You want the last five swings and the last five circles to be pretty much a full range of motion. Awesome, and then after that, we'll get this out of the way, and we're gonna go into some scorpion stretches. So you lay flat on the ground, one arm under the shoulder, the other arm extended or slightly bent, and just roll onto one side, and then roll back. Now when you roll over, go ahead and put your head on the ground when you are, yeah, exactly. So you wanna relax the neck. And what you're looking for here is pressing into the floor to get an opening across the chest, and right where the, the chest and the shoulder meet. Of course, you can get a nice, little hip opener as well by reaching that top leg as far as you can over to the opposite side. So 10 of those total, five per side. Then back to one minute of general movement. You can do the same thing you did earlier or try something different. And then we'll get into uh, floor presses. So lying on the ground, ideally you're just gonna have the sandbag resting on your palms. And if that is a little bit wonky for you, you can always just go into 10 push-ups. Legs can be straight or knees bent. Shoulder blades drawn down into the floor. Nice, easy press all the way up. And then grab hold of your bag. You're gonna get to your bent over row position. So you can see, Alex has tension here, right in between the shoulder blades. Lats are fired up. Nice slow pulls. You wanna make sure that the shoulders don't come forward on the way down. They stay slightly retracted even when the arms are straight. Belly stays tight the whole time. Looks awesome. Now, a little bit more complex movements. You can straddle the bag and get it to your hang position. Either hands gripping the sides of the bag, which generally works a little bit better than the handles, but if the handles works good for you, go for it. So hinge forward at the hips, a little clean to one shoulder, press it up and over to the other shoulder, back to the hang and over to the other side. So it's 10 of these alternating five to each side. Make sure that when you press, the belly stays tight, ribs are drawn down. And then when you do the clean portion, you wanna have a nice extension of the hips so that they're all the way straight, your legs are all the way straight when you get into that pressing position. Awesome. After that, either do a few reps of all the movements you're gonna be doing in your workout or do a nice slow practice round of the workout just so that you get more of a warm up in the specific movements that you'll be doing uh, this is gonna be really good for just generally waking up the body, taking your joints through a full range of motion, getting your heart rate up and all of that. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great workout.